Sean Higgs coming at you with a little SOCON tournament here. It's tournament time. Mr. Sean Higgs, give me a follow on Twitter. Uh, scrolling underneath. There you go. Follow on the Twitter. Hit the thumbs up button. Maybe thumbs down button. Maybe you don't like the SOCON. Maybe you want uh, some other conference I didn't get to. Or maybe I'm not going to pick your team to win it. It's not picking your favorite team or a team I like the most. And this is about finding a number and see if we want to bet a little tournament future for a couple days. Have a little fun. Uh, as always, maybe find something in between. Midday Money, it says it up top. Uh, I could flip it out and it'll say Late Night Money. That's a show I do seven days a week. Midday Money, obviously, 12 noon Eastern time. Late Night Money, midnight Eastern time. Plenty of free picks. Plenty of picks for you to enjoy. Like Almond Joyce. Anyway, let's go. Let's get this dog and pony show started. And speaking of doggies, the Bulldogs of Samford. Plus 155, your odds on favorite to get it done here. Uh, 15 and 3 in the conference, 26 and 5 overall. Uh, two losses out of conference. Purdue thumped you. No sh- shame losing to Purdue on a road. And uh, you lost by 10 of ECO. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, you know, you lose a couple games late here to Mercer Wofford. All right, they were on the road. I, I get it. You know, losing to Furman. I, I, Furman's a little better. I could see losing. You know, they, they have the third best odds to to win the conference here. So I, I'll chalk that up. And and maybe you think, oh, it's late and we're not playing that well and we have a bad loss. I get it. Uh, 155. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Greensboro plus 450. I'm interested. Sign me up. I already got down on this 450, uh, 450 myself here. So I like Greensboro to win this guy. This is just my thought. And I'll, you know, we'll talk about a couple other teams in a second, but this is my favorite. And I actually put my money on this game, my hard earned money from doing videos here and uh, getting a $3.45 deposit from, you know, Spotify for, for my show that gets no, not that many listens. Anyway, <laughs> uh, 0 and 2 versus Sanford. So uh, if you face the champs of the regular season here, Let's see. Can you beat a good team three times? Sanford was going to find out if they face Greensboro. They are 3-1 and one versus East Tennessee State and VMI. Uh, they did lose the last game to East Tennessee, 66-65 on the road. I mentioned that because that is who our little fellas here will have uh, as a winner. You know, 7-10 matchup. This is who they get. Two teams they beat. This one, you lose on the road last game of the year. You're locked in your spot. I can almost see a flat spot in that happening. Um, the bottom part of their little bracket here is Furman and Chattanooga. Two and over is money earned in Furman, and he split versus the Mox. Hey, you're basically, in my eyes, uh, five and one. Because, again, that loss to, you know, really didn't lose that game there to me. So um, you beat all the teams in front of you to get to the championship game. I'm going to take care of plus 450. Again, I'm not worried about covering a spread. You're going to be favored. No thank you. Plus 450, sign me up. Firm it. Money earned firm it. Speaking of them, the fifth seed, although they have the third best odds here, five to one. Three and six on the road in conference play. Two of those wins, you beat one and 17 VMI and a three and 15 Citadel team, your third win versus East, East Tennessee. Now, these games are on neutrals. It's not your, it's not a true road game, but well, this should take into consideration here. You, uh, you haven't really beat any of the top teams, Furman. Though you split versus West Carolina, Sanford, zero and two versus Greensboro, and you split versus the Mockies. Who, um, again, these are teams when we get down the road to, but. Can you upset the big dogs again? You might have them. Can you get past Western Carolina, who you face here, in the opening 4-5 game? These are spots. Uh, you come back into the Midday Money Show, my show. Uh, just because we don't like something for a tournament long game. Do we find a winner here with a point spread? 
in one of these matchups. Quite possibly we will. Western Carolina, who will be facing Furman, also a 5 to 1 spot. Uh, I do like this team, had them a few times this year. I figure I'd throw that out there. They won three in a row, four or five, six of eight. Their two losses, two top teams, both on a road. So, um, do you want to maybe look at this team if you're looking for an upset minded squad? Right? Again, I'm trying to give you a thought of. Stop always thinking. You just take the favorite all the time and go that. If you want to look at another team that could surprise. And even just by seeing this, do you think, hey, maybe I'm going to take a either Furman or uh, Western Carolina against Sanford as an underdog? Maybe they'll cover. You know, it's a tournament. Defenses, you know, we got to look at some under, stuff like that. I, w- I won't hate it here at a five two one. If you told me, ah, eh, you know, Greensboro's okay, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go West Carolina. Now, for me, uh, you know, for an extra fifty dollars, I don't think that's worth it in my eyes, right? It's from five to one to a plus four fifty. You know, I know that if Greensboro is sitting at the end against them, I'm already in championship game, where you got to still get past a team that you same same odds with in a tough four five matchup, and then you have the regular season champs who have been playing pretty well all, all year. Chattanooga. Oh, the Mockies here. You're a three seed, but yet they are behind a four and a five seed here with their seven to one odds. Now, is that because you just had to knock off Greensboro? Because uh, you split with Greensboro. So maybe you think, hey, we could win here on a neutral versus NCG. 12 and 6 in conference. You've won games. 0 and 2 versus the big boys. Can you win this one on the road? Yes, you can. They have one on the road this year. That's why they're sitting here as a three seed. The problem is here you go. You got the two seed in front of you. Who, by intention purposes, if you look at these odds, they say Greensboro is the team. And that's why we got a little NCG here, plus 450. Wofford here. There you go. So the six seeds coming in 20 to 1. You are 1 1 versus Sanford with a two point road loss. That can make things a little dangerous, which is maybe why you see Chattanooga at 7 to 1, because you're playing a team here that's, uh, you beat the top team. You played a close one. You dropped to Greensboro. I get it. Will they be worthy of a look plus points? Let's see what this line is when it comes out, because that could be something I'm looking at. East Tennessee State, 20-1. to one. Six of our eight wins against Mercer, Citadel, and VMI, who have eight, three, and one win, respectively. I can't take this team serious. I can't do it. You, will you beat VMI again? Probably. And then you got Greensboro. Here comes an interesting one. Mercer. So. You beat Sanford. The top dogs. You swept the two seed. You get past Sanford. You swept Furman. And here comes Western Carolina, who you're 0-2 against. You know, you're a dangerous team at 50-1 to here. The problem is that you are in a playing game versus Citadel, which you should win. Then you got Sanford, who you beat already. Maybe you get lightning in the bottle. You drop both games to Western, and then you got money earned and Furman sitting there. I not that I'm saying you put a buck or two on this one, but this is what the madness is about here. You're going to look at a team be really off the rocker. Why not a team that has three wins versus the two best teams in conference? That is your true madness right there. And again, these two squads, Citadel VMI, no thank you. So those are my thoughts. You want to get a little uh, 
crazy outside the box, I guess Mercer. You want to go like the rest of the world and take the odds on favorite? Hey, they're 15 and 3, 26 and 5. Pretty good team, 20 games over 500. For me, Greensboro getting a call for the uh, video here. I appreciate you spending 10 minutes with me of your day. If you want to spend some more time, midday money, live daily at noon Eastern, late night money, midnight Eastern. Also available in podcast form. Just type in midday money. Thank you.